Welcome back, Hard Forkers. So this show today is attempting to be a really basic handhold uh, for everyone out there to look at Matic Polygon, uh, the Quick Token, the Quick Swap exchanges. A lot of hype around this at, mo at the moment. A lot of talk. Um, I've been playing around with it all uh, well for the last couple of days myself. And look, I'm I'm confused, and I've been in the space for a long time. So I'm going to hand it over to Stefano now. We're going to do a bit of a walkthrough for you and talk through uh, why we think this is a great uh, project. Uh, and all the other little things that are happening on it now, all, the, all, all these uh, dApps. For those of you that don't know, Maddox now rebranded as Polygon. It's a layer two tech, uh, certainly, certainly a, a hot topic at the moment. They've got over uh, 40 top tier apps on there, gaming, DeFi, social media, uh, with super low transaction fees. So without further ado, Stefan, I'm going to throw it over to you. You are the expert here. Um, talk us through this, please. Help us. Sure. <laughs> Let me screen share everything so it's going to be like a little bit easier uh, to see everything. Now, can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Okay, let me bring this big. Uh, now, if I lower the faces and everything. Now, first thing first, can you see my MetaMask, my wallet here? Yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. Because this is going to be like the, the very important thing. So when, when you are like uh, buying things like from an exchange like matic from an exchange like Binance or so on or you know we showed that in the past of like maybe using like a uniswap or like you know it's it's available quite like for a month of exchanges binance white beat uh bitcoin.com exchange blah, blah blah and so on so either way when you're buying from like one of these exchanges uh chances are the majority 99.9 .9, i would say that you're buying like a matic token that runs on the ethereum layer one so on the Ethereum mainnet. And so when you're doing that, let's assume that you're using Uniswap. Uh, everybody knows that I'm not a fan of centralized exchanges. So let's assume Uniswap for a second. Uniswap runs on mainnet of Ethereum. You buy that. And obviously you're going to find that on your Ethereum wallet, on your assets, uh, because you are on Ethereum mainnet, as you can see like from the top of, uh, of Ethereum uh, on your wallet there. Now, the main point is that Matic is basically the equivalent of Ethereum, but on layer two. So every time that you're doing a transaction on layer two, on Matic layer two, in, in this specific case, you will need to pay with Matic token. So with the Polygon rename, but the token is still Matic. So to oversimplify, let's keep calling that Matic. But remember, it's Polygon, the real name on that. So you need to do a couple of things here. One you need to prepare, do the preparation. So how do you access layer two if you've never done that before? Well, here's the thing. There is this little guide done by the quick swap actually uh, team, which we're also gonna review later on, but they're basically like writing down a lot of things on like how to do that. It's a step-by-step -step guide, but to super, super simplify that, what you wanna do is basically doing three things. Number one, open your MetaMask. Two, Click on main Ethereum network up here. Now my Matic mainnet is already select, but what you want to do is click on custom RPC. You click on custom RPC and you're going to have like a, an entire list of like network name, new RPC URL, chain ID, blah, blah, and all of those things. Now, all this data, all this information are available exactly like on this medium website. So if you scroll down, there you have it. There is like the screenshot here and you get like the entire information here. So you can just like do a simple copy and paste of every single one. You get your network name, your new RPC, your chain ID, your symbol and everything. Once you've done with that, and so you have inserted everything, you will click on save. So it will basically like give you the option of like adding the RPC. And from that moment on going, you will see that in the list of network. So you will actually start seeing Matic mainnet over there. Now, you don't do anything at this point. You just like know that it's there. You can test it out. So for example, like you can click there. It would actually like gives you zero at the beginning. Now, be aware of this, like you still see the logo, for example, of ETH. It's not ETH, those are like Matic. These are my Matic that are like on layer two right now. But at the beginning, you're gonna see zero. 
and you don't need that. You just need to set it up the RPC first. Now let's go back on mainnet for the time being. Now I wish I had like that 428 ETH <laughs> that it was like showing on the bug. But once you're there, so once your RPC is set, you want to do step number two. And so go to the Matic uh, website. If we are going, how do you go on the Matic website? As per usual, CoinGecko is your friend. It gives like all the information and everything that you need. So you get like the Matic.network website. You can go there directly. Uh, you are like on Polygon in a specific case. And it basically like, tells you exactly like on get started. You follow like the instruction. There is nothing crazy over there. Uh, you go on Matic POS chain because like it's the main one that has been created. And you're basically like going back on like the entire list. And okay, so that was so an important one there where I was getting confused. So Matic POS chain. You can go on POS chain or you can go like on Plasmas as well. Like both of them are working. They're different structure on that, to be honest. So the way that it works is that like, forget all the others, ZK, Optimistic, blah, blah, and so on. Those are not available. Now the POS and the Matic are basically like the two different uh, functions that are currently available. And those are like different timelines and so on. Um, it's when you're like transferring between one bridge and another and so on. You got them here as well. So on Matic POS, let me open both of them just in case. They're both like describing basically all the different things and so on that you need to know on like the difference and everything. Basically, they're using like different models and so on. Now, what you want to do is like going on your wallet thing. So in order to go on your wallet things, you just go on like wallet.matic.network slash login in the specific case, or it's going to do that automatically. You're just like going on your wallet basically. So if you're canceling everything, it's just like wallet.matic.network it's going to open like the page and it's going to ask like to log in. Now your main net of Ethereum, remember that your RPC is not selecting yet. So you just like connect, you sign the transaction as per usual, no changes on that. It's exactly the same process that you're used to kind of like seeing multiple times. And here's your like on your wallet Matic network. Now in this specific case, right now I'm seeing the balance of the Matic network. So I'm seeing what I have on the Matic network. Ignore this, you're probably gonna have like zero either way. But what you wanna do is click on these things. Move funds to Matic network. So this is your bridge. If you bought from Uniswap, if you bought from an exchange, if you bought from like whatever, whatever token you have there, Ethereum, Matic, whatever thing, and you wanna do the transfer, this is your CTA. Move funds to Matic. To mainnet. So if I'm moving, I'm moving funds from Binance. Uh, obviously, we're looking at MetaMask right now. But if I'm moving, moving funds from Binance, I can just go to this uh, wallet here and do it direct. This will give me the address to 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 do that. No. Right? no, 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 no. You need to connect that. You need to log in. So you need like a a MetaMask or like one of the other two wallets that are available. This is right. like a web app at the end of the day. So you still need a Web three wallet in order to do right. That. So I'm going to have to so, go from Binance to MetaMask to this wallet. Correct, okay. correct. Uh, they always, always start with MetaMask. It's much easier to like uh, not overcomplicating things. It's the same entry point for everybody. Now, on this specific case, this is your bridge. And so your bridge could work in two ways. Could work from the layer one, Ethereum, to the Matic network, so to layer two, or vice versa, you can also do the reverse. So you can do from the Matic network if you want to bring back things on layer one, on the main Ethereum. Now, obviously, at the beginning, you care about moving from layer one to layer two. So you do got like your Ethereum by default, but you can select whatever other things you want. Now, remember, this shows the layer one balance of your wallet, not the layer two. So, for example, on my layer one wallet on Ethereum mainnet, I still have 47 Matic if I want to transfer them or I have Ethereum. Now, just for the sake of the example, let's assume that I want to transfer like 10 Matic, which is $2. I'm probably not going to go through the entire process because I'm going to have like guest fees of $30, but just like to, to show that. So once I select basically the amount, I click on transfer. Once I click on transfer, the system is going to basically like let me know a couple of things. So number one, moving funds from Ethereum to Matic. Deposit of funds takes seven to eight minutes. 
put like a 10 minutes is probably like the easiest way. Now it's 10 minutes for moving from Ethereum to Matic. However, if you're trying to move from Matic to Ethereum, it's gonna take at least three hours. So be very conscious on that. If you're planning on like moving away from and back to like layer one, you will have to wait like a quite a bit of amount of time. The second thing that you want to keep in, into consideration if you're doing staking. Now staking on Matic is absolutely awesome because you're looking at like a return per year of like around 16%. So that's very good. It does not run on layer two. If you're planning of doing staking, keep everything on layer one. You can do that directly from there. Now, assuming that you know all of this and you're cool with that, you just click continue and it tells you how much it's going to cost you to do the transaction. So in this specific case, around $20. You click on continue. You have a summary of the entire things, blah, blah, blah. You say like, yeah, sure. You click continue once again and MetaMask is going to open. Now you are approving that. You click continue once again. You basically like say continue all the time. MetaMask is going to open, ask you to confirm the transaction and everything. Now, in this specific case, it's a little bit lower than what I have there. So on estimation, I have like around $20. In reality, it's telling me MetaMask that it's going to be like 17 and 50 um, cents. Now, for the sake of that, let's just like running that or it's not really needed, but like you confirm that. And once you like you confirm, you're just going to wait and nothing else. Let's say that I reject that in this specific case. So you just wait, nothing else. Once this is going to be completed and you're going to see like the message that tells you like that it's being completed, you're basically like going back on your wallet. You're not going to see anything now, but here's where like you want to move on RPC. So at this point, you and your wallet, your MetaMask are still on mainnet, but your funds now are on the Matic mainnet or layer two, basically. So what you want to do is like reopen your MetaMask Click on main Ethereum network, select Matic, which we set up at the beginning. You let the time run on, uh, on the wallet. Page is going to refresh. Everything is going to refresh automatically because now you're actually being connected on layer two. And there you are. You will be able to see your funds at that point, whatever you have transferred, your wallet is going to be there. You have the confirmation on top that you're like on Matic mainnet. And because you're like on the Matic wallet, this thing, that green dot that tells you that you're connected basically tells you that you have done everything correctly because that's the message that you want to see at that point. Now, at this point, your funds are on layer two. So yeah, congratulations, you achieved that. Now, the big question is like, what the heck do you do with those funds? Well, for example, Sean mentioned that he wants to look into Quick. Now, Quick Swap is basically the equivalent of Uniswap on uh, the Matic network. So once again, if you don't know the links and everything, you can go on, uh, on CoinGecko. You can search for the Quick token, the Quick Swap. There it is. You can find the website, which is quickswap.exchange. You can click over there and there you are in the page. Now, it works exactly in the same way as Uniswap. So the top right corner is basically where you want to focus at the beginning. Once you see Matic, it means that it tells you on which mainnet you are. If for whatever reason, like you, you pop into this like by mistake, you don't know what to do and so on. You got zero quick because like it's the same thing of like the zero uni that you got when you're using Uniswap. It tells you your balance on Matic, how many Matic token you have. Now in this specific case, this is the wrong address, unfortunately. So let me just like change that. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Wait, let me reopen this. Connect. There we are. Sorry. Apologies for that. Now, in this specific case, it tells me that I have like the the balance that I just like transferred. It tells me the balance like on, on uni here, I would see like Ethereum. In this specific case, I'm on Matic. So that's the main currency that I'm going to use. And it tells me that my wallet has been connected. So again, same thing as uni as before. Now, if you ever use uni in your life you know exactly how this thing works it's no surprise in that so let's say that i want to buy like uh just like to to show how actually how cheap it is something like this 
So I have my Matic because that's pretty much the only thing that I have on this wallet. And I want to buy, um, I don't know, Jordan, any preference? Avagotchi. Avagotchi. Okay, we want to buy Avagotchi. There we are. Now, let's say that I want to buy uh, $2 of Avagotchi. So one pretty much Avagotchi. I think it is 170 or something like that. Uh, which is going to be worth 7.7 7 and a half Matic token. So same things. You're familiar with this. You know that price impact. If for whatever reason the transaction failed, and I saw a lot of people complaining about this, you know this. You have used Uniswap before. Don't be surprised. If transactions fails, just like click on your settings icon and set the slippage to 5%. You know this, you've done that before. Don't, don't get like crazy because it's a different website. It works in the same way. Now, once you're ready on doing your transfer, you click on swap, you confirm your swap. Now keep in mind that you will need to approve the tokens first. If you've never done that before, they will ask you a pre-transaction where you would have to like confirm those things. Now, the gas, you can see that. This is a 0 0.000332 Matic. So think about that for a second. Let's confirm. We can do that in real time, just like to show once again if the system is fairly quick or not at all. Now it should be in theory, but you know, let's give it some time. There it is, done, complete. You can click on the transaction, exile in the same way as like Etherscan, Matic has its own version of Etherscan. Now in this specific case, it doesn't show me that because it's still like the old one, unfortunately. But if I go here, I can find this from MetaMask again, go on the link, and there it is. This is like my transfer. It summarizes everything, exactly like on Ether scan. And this is what I just spent for that transfer. For that swap, I spent 0. Point Holy 0. 0. 0. 0. 0.000062. Wow. It's not free, but uh, it's almost free. So this is a no-brainer to be using this. Well, if you have the tokens that you're looking for, obviously, otherwise yeah. it's a different story. But here's you got like the summary of your transaction. The design is actually fairly nice, to be honest. I like this uh, this UX quite a bit. Um, now, don't remember where it was. Okay, there it is. Uh, pa -pa -pa -pa. Now it's done. My balance is updated. I have one ghost and pretty much done completely. Few other things that like why is quick having like some crazy things happening right now and so on. Uh, let's look at the left side. You got your swap, which is basically what you have here. You got pool, and you know this as well because you have been using Uniswap before. You know how a DEX works. You got like your list of pools and so on. Now, in this specific case, I have no pools <laughs> because I didn't join anything, obviously. But you can actually like look for specific pairs from the chart and figure out like, you know, if you want to support a specific pools or not. However, however, let's assume that you're here for like, you know, some investments and like trying to make some bucks in here and there. You want to click on quick. Why you want to click on quick? Well, because like one inch or like uni has done in the past, you are in heel farming right now. So you have a huge list of pools a very, very big list of pools with quite a lot of tokens, the quick tokens, the wrap BTC, the USDC, the USD, uh, T, DAI. You get like wrap token from Aave, um, like you, you name it. You, the list is insane. Like you can keep scrolling down. There are so many. X is also part of that for the X supporter. If you want to like support on Matic, you can also do that on Ethereum and X and on Quick and X as well. Like you name it, you have so many different things. Now, you have still four days to go because on, on this thing. Like, uh, I don't know what is going to happen after. I didn't check to be honest, but let's assume that you have like a four days. Now here's what you want to see. One, the pull rate. Every pool is different. So Stefano, can you one... look at uh, Quick yep. ETH just to make it easy because that's the token most people quick would have. Quick ETH. Uh, quick ETH. There it is. This is our pool. The total deposits of that pool is a little bit more than 3 million right now. This pool is giving a revenue, a reward, sorry, of 50 quick token per day. 
However, I know the majority of the people would actually look into Ethereum quick because those are the standards one. But remember that we just spent basically nothing to exchange Matic into Ghost. You can finally, this is not possible in Uniswap normally because like on all the transactions and so on, but you can actually play this smart. You can spend half an hour on this page or even one hour doing some research and figure out which is the one the pool that gives you the best return. Take this for example, the first one, it gives 150 quick per day. Yes, but it has $70 million in liquidity. The second one, which gives like the same 150 and it is like on ghost and quick, stake ghost, however. So you need to stake them on the Avagotchi website first. It's a little bit more complicated, but this is half. It means that like this pool, if you stake on this one, you're getting double reward on that. Do your calculation, basically. But just like, you know, there is a lot to play around with that. Now, let's go on the quick if. How do you do this? You click on deposit. Now, make sure it's the same thing on the theorem. You need the two things together. I don't have neither, I don't have neither quick or Ethereum, so I cannot join this specifically. I can join a ghost... Uh, Matic, but there is none <laughs> in this specific case. Um, so I can't join anything, but whatever. Uh, let's go with the flow, basically. You just like clicking on deposit and you're basically like seeing the classic Uniswap thing that is basically telling you like that you want to add your quick ETH li liquidity. Now, here's one thing that is pretty nice on the UX. It actually tells you what to do. So in this specific case, it tells you get quick V2 liquidity token. Quick V2 tokens. And this is the cool part because you're reading this the first time and you're like, what's a quick V2 token? I have no idea. It's like a quick V2 tokens are required. Once you have added liquidity to the quick Ethereum pool, you can stake your liquidity tokens on this page. And it also tells you add quick ETH, ETH liquidity. So you click there, you select the amount that you want to have that. Now, I don't have neither of the two, unfortunately, so I can't do that. But you just like put your input, same thing as in Uniswap. You want 50% of token A and 50% on token B because it's like it's a Uniswap, it's, it's a pool, it's a liquidity pool. Once you're ready, you click on enter the amount. You confirm the transaction. It's still going to be like that, less than one cent per transfer, blah, blah, blah. You receive your liquidity token, your LP token, like on Uniswap. Once you're done with all of that, you just like go back to your chart on uh, on Quick Ethereum. There it is. You click back on deposit. You give it a little bit of time on loading. And then at that point, you're gonna be able actually to stake at that point. So you do two things. One, you add the liquidity. Once you get the LP token, you go back on your pool and you stake those liquidity token. That's it. And because it costs almost nothing it's not a bad thing if you're doing that for like one or two days and just make like 20 or $30 in profits because it's not going to be destroyed by the gas fees on that specific case. And so you can like jump in, jump out and so on. Now, please remember this. Impermanent loss are still a thing. So if you want to go like a little bit on low risk, I would suggest to take something like the first pool. And that's the reason why the liquidity of the first one is so huge because let's be honest it's a usdc ave usdc so it's always going to be packed you have no impermanent loss on that one and you're actually like farming quick token on top of that so yeah that's pretty much it if for whatever reason you decide that you're like okay i've done everything on on layer two i'm done like you know i got my profits i got my big bags i mean like fifty thousand dollars and like i want to now cash out and so on how you do you do that well your wallet is still on matic mainnet you have like your balance and everything you're still there you go back you do everything like in reverse from the beginning so you go back on your wallet.matic.network and in that specific case you click on move funds to Matic network again. In this specific case, you want to switch the system because you want to have them like from Matic to Ethereum. Let's select Matic just like for the sake of the example once again. Let's take those like 10 that we had before as in the, in the first side. You click on transfer. It tells you the same thing. However, here's the thing. 
We drove found stake three hours in POS and seven days in plasma. So make sure that you probably want to use POS, to be honest. You click on continue. And here's where the bad news arrives. Look at this. We draw zero. Confirm we draw $50. We draw complete $90. So that's the bad thing of the story. Moving in, it's actually fairly cheap, to be honest, but moving out costs quite a bit of money. So once you enter the layer two, either you find someone that you can do peer to peer and like, you know, transfer layer two tokens to for something that is on layer one, or you need to be ready actually to move to stay in the layer two for a long time, or you need to be able to like transfer out quite a nice amount of, uh, of tokens in order to like, you know, uh, mitigate almost $100 of, uh, of expenses and fees. But uh, yeah, once you do this and you click on continue, it will tell you that you need to move back on mainnet because you need to pay the gas for Ethereum mainnet. So what you're going to do is like you click on continue. Uh, I don't want to really use the, the plasma network. I want to use the, the POS, but it's just like, doesn't really give me the option right now to, to use the other one. So I'm going to be stuck on this basically. You click on continue, it opens up MetaMask and it's going to tell you that you need to be, uh, now you can confirm that and it's going to tell you that like you need to move on mainnet. Now I'm not going to do that because there is no point in doing that because obviously you're not going to do a transfer for $2. But just like remember that when you're like finally be ready, you will have to move from Matic RPC Matic mainnet back to Ethereum mainnet. Mm. Once that happens, then you're fine because you can pay your gas and so, so on. So, Stefano, what? Um, obviously, we in some ways we might have sort of skipped the step there. Where you know we're looking at uh, you know the stake in the liquidity pools, etc. Uh, mm -hmm. What about if I just want to trade from one token to another using uh, QuickStop? Um, you, you can do that in, in the same way that you would do that on uh, on Uniswap, basically. Like uh, we we done like that that exchange like from Matic to to Ghost, but you know nothing is stopping me to just like go back over there on the swap. Give me one second that we reload the page. Now, one thing that I noticed is that Quick has a little bit more bags than, than Uniswap. So don't be afraid to like refresh pages very often and stuff like that. So now I have my one ghost, right? Because that's what like uh, we exchange. And I have my entire big list of, uh, of things. Now, the central game, this is like the, the casino that is in like uh, the central end, for example. Bitcoin, Compound, DAI, uh, DB, I have no idea what it is. Uh, easy, no idea. The tons of these things, I have no idea what they are, to be honest. Um, but I don't know. Let's say that you want to like go with uh, IGG, which is IG Galaxy. Um, they do like esports tournaments and stuff like that. It's a pretty fairly nice uh, project. And there you have like your pair. How do you do that? You do your select your amount. You receive like 4,921 IGG in this specific case. Now, the price impact in this specific case is going to be like quite high compared to like the first transfer that we got. Now, remember, the slippage is your friend. If you want to use that, feel free to go ahead with that. You click on swap, you confirm your swap, and you do that. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> uh, this is probably an issue with one of the tokens you're swapping. Damn. Oh, sorry. I need to approve that. That's the reason why. Sorry, apologies for that. My bad. The system didn't reload fast enough, which actually proves that like you might have some issues here and there. But you want to prove the tokens. This is what we say at the beginning. So you prove that. Now, again, keep in mind that there are bugs here and there. It tells me that like I'm paying in ETH in this specific case. I'm not paying in ETH. I'm paying in Matic. But either way, you confirm the transaction. You give it time. Every time that you want to do a swap, you would always have to come to approve things on. Uh, again, if you're using like Uniswap before any other DAX, you know how these things work. They're always the same. Now, it's taking a bit of time, but 
There it is. We got the confirmation of the ghost. Now that step one has been confirmed, I can finally go and swap my one ghost for 4,921 IgG. If it gives issues, because that's another thing that I've seen giving problems, if for whatever reason this transfer doesn't work, the problem is in the decimal of the IgG. And so you want to have like a fixed unit. That's something that I've seen happening very often as well on, um, on Uniswap. In this specific case, the transfer that's worked, they, they really took like a big fee on the IgG compared to like what they, they were supposed to like show me. Uh, but there you have it. Now I have zero ghosts and I have like my IgG, 4,921.26. Okay, so the entire point of using quick swap in a nutshell is is this. Let's go ahead and open like what I what I just did. Uh, now, for that swap, I spend even less because it's a forty three. It's a zero 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 forty three. So if you consider all the transfers that I've just done, I went into two swaps, basically. I've spent 0 0.0001 cent. So if someone wants to, why would someone want to use quick swap? Well, because you don't have gas fees, basically. Right. So if you're, trying, if you're trading a lot of ERC20 tokens on, uh, on, on Uniswap, for you know, a hundred bucks, five hundred bucks, you're just getting eaten up by by fees on the Ethereum layer one. Yes. So connecting your MetaMask to uh, the Matic network, and then using QuickSwap, uh, which is an app on the Matic network on layer two or Polygon. Um, yeah, you're 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 paying nothing. It's yes. Well, you, you do have like some, some trade off, obviously the fact is like on layer two, you don't have the same quantity of ERC 20 that are available on mainnet. Number yep. two, even if they are available, the liquidity pools are not as big as they are on Uniswap. Yep. Like even the biggest pool that you have here, um, which is like what 70 millions or something like that. Like on uni, <laughs> that same pool is probably 170 million. Yep. Like, you know, there, there is like a kind of a different size of magnitude. So over they've here. just had 100 million in liquidity uh, in the last hour. How new is this? How long has this been around for? Um, I don't know, but not much. I think like a couple of weeks, maybe. Yeah. Okay. And I'm hearing a lot of people talking in terms of, you know, this if, if we believe in decentralization, this is uh, where we should be heading. Uh, you know, and and <laughs> in the battle with maybe Binance chain, I suppose that's the uh, the, the way to be looking. Oh, uh, well, look, I think that like there is a, a big difference on like uh, now. I'm obviously like on a specific side, and I say that many, many times. I don't have an account on Binance, I never use anything relating to Binance, and I try to stay away from everything that is centralized as much as possible. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm obviously biased in, in anything that I say and so on. However, there is a big difference on like the, the type of things that has been done right now on Matic or on Polygon, um, where there are some use cases that reminds me a lot of like testing and R&D that has been done on Ethereum at the beginning. Take, for example, Avagachi, uh, Ghost, the Ghost token. Now, if I'm looking at Quick, I think about like a copycat of Uniswap and I'm like, yeah, what's different with like, you know, all the people that were pointing the finger on uh, on PancakeSwap with, with Binance. Yeah, it's true. Matic is on layer two, is decentralized, blah, 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 and so on. But at the end of the day, for the end user, you know, people don't really care about that. However, here's a big difference. And I really want to take Avagachi as an example for this. So far on the Binance Smart Chain, as well as it was like the cases with like Tron, EOS and, and all of those things, there was like a huge amount of like copycats over and over and over again. While if I'm looking at simple things like Avagachi, the use case there is actually pretty unique. Because it's one product that has never done before that is like 
bringing in like a lot of different components and aspects that indeed was actually creating on layer one first and then got forced on moving on layer two. And, you know, I'm seeing the trend where like, it seems that the, the sweet innovation is actually going on on Matic right now. Yeah. I'm not saying that like any other layer two or any other chain is not going to like uh, achieve that. I mentioned that in previous videos that I think that XDAI is actually having a nice use case for like specific type of projects as well. Um, I use Realto.co. And they are mo they move from like layer one to X die. So it's not that like, you know, you're relating on like it's metic or nothing at all. But I actually think that layer twos like these are one helping the fight and the survival of Ethereum right now because of the gas fees. Yes. And two, they're still innovating. Think about what is going to happen when, uh, so OpenSea is having a beta, uh, a private beta on, uh, on Matic right now on Polygon. Think how nice it would be to start like trading things like uh, a two or a three dollars crypto kitties with no fees instead of literally being surrounded by pile of NFTs that you can't sell because they're worth like a couple of dollars. But but you can't do that because like they cost twenty dollars to do each of them. Yep. So, you know, I don't know what is going to happen in the future, but I welcome a lot uh layer twos and innovations like this because they they actually make the process quite sweet however hear me out the next big thing that is going to happen is for exchanges is like for bridges to ensure that there is a transfer from layer two to cash out without even rely on layer one and someone at this point might say oh but this is actually like a bearish case for ethereum no it's not the fees are paid by layer twos automatically. It's Polygon that pays the fees to the miners to Ethereum. It's not the user that has to do that because of the way the layer twos are designed. So if the user gets to the situation where like what we show at the beginning doesn't exist, where you don't have to use a bridge in the first place to enter and exit a specific thing, mm -hmm. um, then yes, then I think that it will be very, very sweet. Right now, it's still very, very niche, however. Okay. Um, question uh, is quick stop off. Uh, uh, are we going to be able to well, use so. uh, limit orders and stop losses on there is what I'm hearing. I don't know. Mm -hmm. okay. I have no idea about that right now. No, I don't know in future what they're going to do. Okay. I'll look into that. Uh, no, another one I've, I've just been looking at, it's actually plasma finance, which is, is going to offer that, but we'll, uh, we'll cover that on our uh, regular show. People purpose of the show, uh, and thank you, Stefano. That's that's cleared up a, a lot of things I've struggled with this morning, moving, moving some coins around. Um, of Just yeah. wait. Within two weeks, there will be a Dex Tools version on Matic. There will be an IDO launch platform on Matic. Uh, and oh, for uh, sure. stop losses and for sure. take profits. I mean, they're, they're gonna... everything's just getting skinned and redone and redone. Yeah, and redone. yeah. It's like I, I agree with Jordan. Innovation that. or, you know, like we're just getting to the copy paste land right now mm. and it's all about adoption whatever's going to catch on everything yep. is just copy paste so as far as you know tr trading lots of lots of coins on uh uniswap at the moment on, on ethereum layer one obviously we're getting hit, hit with fees unless you're a, a serious or a, a, you know a big uh, big buck trader so this looks like a, a a great solution i suppose the limitation is the amount of assets that are actually available on uh a uh, quick swap uh, uh, is would that be fair to say? I, I've, also the yeah, liquidity, the liquidity as well. I, I think that, like, now this is like a very biased point of view, but to me, and, and I say that before because obviously, like, I hear a lot of people being like, the gas fees and Ethereum are like, uh, you know, uh, destroying everything, this and that, and so on. I do not think that swapping on you know layer twos and stuff like that is really going to be like what is going to bring innovation and usability on uh, on layer twos and stuff like that like i i really don't want to like throw uh the classic finger and so on but yesterday there was like the the avagotchi uh pre-sale of their portals and so on and a tons of people like were left out because of like issues problems and so on and the community started like slashing out and be like oh 
the whales like uh, bought everything up, blah, blah, and so on. This is not good. The community like it's not going to survive. We should have like more sales, more portals, more things and so on. And it's really started being this thing where like everybody's crying. Everybody's complaining like that the world owns them something that because the network is expensive poor them they can't use them because the there is someone that has a faster internet connection or that is actually is there at the best time poor them they didn't went into like a pre-sale that because there is a demand and supply in the market and someone buys in all the supply uh then they can actually put the price that they want because it's their right and poor them. They don't have the money because it's not fair that now the price is like 10X or something and so on. Now on trading, I'm actually a little bit on, on that side of being like, you know, you don't have $20 to do a swap, it's on you. I know that a lot of people are gonna be upset on this. I know that a tons of people are really gonna like point the finger at me and be like, whoa, 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 that's not good, that's not good. But I'm really on the side of like, if you think that you're like the Gordon Gecko of the situation because you're doing like swap with like $100 or $50, I'm sorry. Like, just forget about it. It's, it's just a matter of time before you're going to get burned and so on. People that do swaps, that do trades and do things like that, they have no issue whatsoever, no $30 gas fee. I find nobody complaining about that in a specific environment. Now, however... If we forget that for a second, which unfortunately is like what everybody's talking about, people are just talking about like trading, swapping, liquidity pools, and exactly what Jordan just mentioned, copycatting over and over and over on every single dashboard and so on. Let's revert this. Let's use it like the use cases. IG Galaxy, for example. You do an eSport tournament. You play Call of Duty Mobile. It's a game. You're fairly good at that. You win a tournament. You get $10 in profit on that. Now, that to me is a perfect use case for something like that. Because you just won $10. It's not that like, you know, it's you can't afford or anything like that, but it's true. Using a Uniswap solution for that to exchange like $10 and paying like 20 or 30 in gas fees, it's insane. Makes no sense whatsoever. So where is IG Galaxy? It's on Matic because it makes sense at that point. Mm. OpenSea, it's moving there. Avagotchi, you're petting your, your little gotchi, your little Avagotchi, your little animal, like a monster, and you're making that smile. You can't pay $4 for something like that. That's a waste of money. But if you're paying less than like 0.0000 whatever dollars, you do that because like whatever, why not? So I think that like the real thing are going to happen when people are going to stop for a second to literally complain that the world owns them everything, but the world owns them nothing. And accept the fact that if you cannot play a specific type of game, blockchain has other type of games that you can afford. Mm. But it doesn't mean that you, the world needs to adjust to your needs because you cannot afford this yep. or that. Okay. So thoughts on the quick token. I picked up some this morning. Uh, oh, skyrocketing. I done it? like a 10x in two weeks. Ooh. <laughs> no, not me. It it has done. Oh, the it token. has, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. It, it so are you uh you, you're looking at this thing, you're buying it? Uh no, I'm not buying, I'm farming it. <laughs> Okay, Stefano, yes. All right. Why um, buying some... And that, that's exactly the same thing. Why buying something when you can get it for free? This is true. Okay, so fan of... Uh, obviously, we're, we're, we're fans of Matic, uh, Polygon. Uh, we've been talking about it for a number of weeks now. Uh, it's actually a significant part of my portfolio. Um, quick stop. You see yourself using it significantly? I've been using that uh, fairly a bit because of specific needs that I have on uh, on Ghost and on IG Galaxy, on those two specific tokens. Um, you know, there are like a lot of uh, teenagers that are not allowed to... Th those are all nice use cases, by the way, that the blockchain allows. There are like a lot of teenagers that are not allowed to join professional esports tournaments because they're underage 
so they're legally not allowed and that the parents obviously tells them like uh what the heck are you doing like go studying like don't don't waste time like playing games and so on but something like this something that is on the blockchain allows them to actually test if they're fairly good and and they can potentially have a career in in the esports world and and stuff like that now those people are obviously not blockchain individuals so after that they come to you and they're like hey uh i have like 30 dollars i have 40 dollars i have 50 dollars that i want to like on multiple tournaments can you help me out cashing out and obviously you do that you know because that that helps people so am i using quick swap yes 100 percent um I say that millions of times. I'm not a trader. That's the reason why my point of views are completely different. So do I see myself being a user on QuickSwap and like trading token A for token B and making profits and this and that? No, because I'm not that type of person. Sure, but do for see- a trader, do you think it's a great platform compared to uh, the other? For sure. For sure. It, it's super, like if, if there is something, I believe that in this specific moment, there are tons of opportunities as well as arbitrage opportunities between Uniswap layer ones and layer twos. I do believe that it is something that people, if you want to make like some, some good returns, you need to put your eyes on, on that. I think it's, it's worth that. Um, or as well, if you want to go like on a low risk, th- think about this for a second. So the Aave stable coin, that gives you a return because it runs on Aave. So it's lender borrowing integrating. So you get that. You put in the liquidity pool on quick swap. So you get like your 0.3 on the pool, exactly as it is on uh, um, on Uniswap. And then you're farming quick token by doing that. Like with a single pair, you're getting return on three different things. How cool is something like that, you know? Um, yeah, have, have a look at that. If it, if it's something that has the flavor that you like and it, it match what you need, go for it. Very true. Jordan, uh, any thoughts on this topic? Seems like the best opportunity is farming. Not necessarily trading because of the liquidity and the options and the pairs, right? So you just go and you find the, the best returns on the fees and what's growing and because it's so cheap to stake and unstake an lp i would you know with those stable coins and the ghost and the quick there just grab stacks of that and lp it for a couple months while the liquidity grows and you'll be way better off than trading it mm. because you know with the trades it's up and down swings and you know LP, lping is a lot less stressful right you got to watch out for your permanent loss but if you're paired with a stable coin, that eliminates a lot of that. So that's what I would be doing. That's what I was looking at. Top pairs. Ghost, Quick, ETH, Matic. Throw them in some LPs because it's so cheap. Yeah. Don't worry about don't worry about trying to trade it, especially at the beginning, right? That's where you make your most fees is when the liquidity gr- grows exponentially. Yeah. Which is happening right now. If you look at that chart, it's uh, it is absolutely exponential on uh, on quick swap. Okay, guys, um, thank you very much. Um, I, maybe some of the newbies that might have been a little tricky. If it was, please put comments below. There's also a link to uh, our Discord where we can help you out. So jump on in there. Uh, just a heads up on what we've got coming up this week. Uh, we've got more token giveaways. So uh, to put yourself in the draw for that, jump into the uh, the Discord, uh, as I say, link link below. And double your chances by being here for the uh, the live show in the next few days. Uh, that'll give you two chances to win effectively. We're going to uh, take a note of who's in the live stream and who's already registered in uh, in the in the uh, in the Discord. Uh, we gave away a couple hundred bucks of Modify token last week. Uh, this week we've got some Mantra Dow and I believe X Infinity. Uh, what's happening on that front, Jordan? Well, we just need to book a time and a day and then do a live stream. Yep. And then I'll set up. I'll pick some axes. Okay. You can win Jordan's axes. And I've heard there's a certain uh, growth lead at Axie Infinity that might be showing up on the show with another freebie. Maybe uh-huh. possibly some AXS which would be kind of sweet. 
Very nice. Let talk to our friend Jeho. He's into coming onto the show, appearing on the live stream, so we can talk some axy shit. Awesome. And uh, it sounds like he's got a, maybe a few tokens to give away to a lucky viewer. There you go, people. Only on the Hard Forking channel. We're the most generous channel in all of crypto. Are we really? <laughs> Possibly. I don't, I don't think so, but... What? Jesus, Stefano. Okay. Anyway, guys, thanks. Uh, th thank you very much, Stefano, for that, that walkthrough. If you've got any more questions, as I say, stick them in the comments below or in the Discord. We'll do our best to, to help you out. Certainly an area. We're big fans of, uh, of Matic Polygon. Uh, we've been look, talking about it for a number of weeks now. Uh, so, yeah, get on, uh, get on over into that Discord, people, and we'll see you in the next couple of days. And also a link below if you are an experienced trader. Uh, there is a link to Bybit, which are now uh, supporting this channel, thanks to, to them. And you can get about $200 in uh, sign-up bonuses with the link below. So uh, support this channel if you are an experienced trader, and please uh, use that link. And uh, we will see you all very soon. Thanks, guys. Cheers now. Later.